Hey Martians, wanted to talk to you about the newest images that just came down from Insight. Um, if you look at them on the website, you'll see that there are a lot of very similar pictures of the ground, the ground right in front of the lander, with a lot of overlap between the images, and I want to explain why we do that. Uh, they're images of the workspace, the area in front of the lander that can be reached by the robotic arm for the deploying of our instruments. Um, and what we do is, uh, there's only one camera mounted on the forearm of the robotic arm. Uh, but by moving the position of that lens, we can create stereoscopic images. So we get a sense of depth in the field, just like with your two eyes. Uh, but by moving the camera, we can get uh, a mosaic that we can then uh, convert into a nice view of the workspace as seen from above. Uh, we can also create digital elevation models. These will give us uh, a precise map of the topography of the workspace down to about a centimeter. Um, the workspace that we have looks pretty benign, but we want this digital elevation model so we can uh, exactly recreate that space in our test bed. We have a robotic lander at JPL, which is a, a sort of a mimic of InSight, and we can test the deployment process. Once we have the digital elevation model, the way we do that is they actually have a virtual reality HoloLens system and the people in the test bed can put that on and then groom the ground so that it exactly matches the digital elevation model we've received from Mars. It's a pretty cool process and um, once we have that done then we will know very precisely where we or we can choose precisely where we want to place the instruments. So that'll be coming up in the next week but uh, those digital elevation models uh, should be uh, ready in a few days. So have a look and uh, we will uh, talk to you later.